Welcome to another episode of the People's Lima, episode 238. That's right, Eric Lima here, your host. People's Lima in the hizzle for shizzle. Yo. No. That's oh, right. Um, anything, notice anything different? That's right, I cut my hair. That's right, I had a, I got a, had a haircut yesterday because, well, nicer weather is coming around. Usually during the winter, I usually let my hair grow up, but my hair was going poof all over the place. And before you know, I would have had uh, hair like Ricky Ortiz or Carlito. That's not cool. So... I say, well, I'm going to cut it short, and uh, I know people say, oh, yeah, both, but so what, I'm getting old, so what, you know? Um, Red Sox won again today, two out of three games against the Yankees. They won uh, last night in a 19-inning series, and despite that, they played again this afternoon and won, so. <clears throat> so pretty good, huh? So 4-1 on the season so far, we got a chance to possibly sweep the series, but we don't want to put the cart before the horse, even though Clay Buckholz is pitching, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens, huh? In that case, and then and then Sox will open up the home opener on Monday against the Washington Nationals. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Um, <clears throat> and this will be uh, a very interesting day. Um, oh, this is already been an interesting day. Yeah, say at least warmer weather is coming. Like I said, um, I'm in a lot. I've been buying a lot of swag on Amazon and uh, eBay. Forgive me. I mean, I bought seven of these things, cassette tapes. Yeah, I'm old school. You know that? And uh, Amazon and eBay have been the best things that's ever happened to me as far as on, being online is concerned. I get to uh, buy some old school stuff. And uh, Oh, this little artifact used to be at my grandparents' house when I was a kid growing up. And, well, a kid growing up and going over there. And now I put batteries in this thing and boom. Yip, 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 little Space Invader version. Candy. Cosmic 1000 Fire Away. Bought this thing on eBay for 12 bucks. Good good deal, huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, though. I, You know, I want to talk about norm being normal. Now, people, well, there's some people out there that don't think, uh, don't think weird is the cool thing, you know? Like, people, you know, you know, we see some people, you know, dress, you know, dress weird. I see, I see. I see some people dressed a little differently, and they had you know, earrings and all that. I say, oh, they look weird, but that's their style, you know. I don't go that style because I I can be weird in my own way, you know. You know, a lot of people um, watch my videos and they you know they criticize them and they you know they say some mean things about them, which I didn't even give a crap. I usually delete their comments because I don't want that kind of negativity. You know, I'm not. I don't want to be a negative guy online. I don't want to be Mr. N um, negative Nancy, you know, or little Debbie Downer. You know, but I'm weird in my own way. You know, I'm different. You know, I'm different than other people. You know, I like old school cartoons. That's not weird. You know, I like watching Power Rangers. You know, I like music, 80s and 90s. Uh, you know, and yes, I'm a born again Christian too. That's not weird. You know, you know, people say, oh, why can't you be normal like other people? Can you do anything? You know, and it's like, you know, then can you criticize my YouTube? Well, you're not going to get popular because you're in your parents' basement. <laughs> You know what? Do I look like I give a crap about what uh, what everybody says out there? No, I do not. Because in my family, normality is a swear word. <laughs> I'll explain that. You know, because we do things different. You know, we're weird, but in a good kind of way. With all this creepy weird and all that, I'm not creepy weird. I'm just plain weird. I'm just a goofball weirdo. I'm a weirdo in a half. That's why I'm a weirdo in a half shell. Teenage mutant, weirdo turtles, teenage mutant. Weirdo turtles, teenage mutant, weirdo turtles, weirdos in a half shell, weirdo power. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh my god, I'm, I'm a weird dude. I am so freaking weird. You know, I'm so weird, I can do my cornholio impression. I am cornholio. I used to eat me. I need TP. TP for my bug hole. My bug hole. Oh, shut up, Beavis. Oh, I'm going to kick your butt and stuff. All right, shut up, butthead. All right, shut up. I'll kick your, I'll kick your ass. Shut up. You know? That type of deal, you know? <clears throat> you know, it's like, you know, I like being weird. I like being totally weird. You know, I'm probably the weirdest guy on YouTube, you know? Oh, you, you know? Listen, I like video games. I like old school video games, man. You know, I like the Red Sox. I'm a big Red Sox fan. Yeah, my room's a mess, but so what? You know, I'd rather show the real me than put on a facade and go, this is me. 
I like to do things differently. No, this is around me. I like having fun and like being me. I like having fun with you guys out there. I'm not about negative drama. I'm not about, you know, you know, world news and all that. I just want to bring the funny and the fun and entertaining stuff. Like I like talking about the Red Sox winning today and the Patriots winning the Super Bowl and all this good stuff and just be and you know, wrestling and all that. It's just because I like being me. <clears throat> you know, I think if we were all normal, this world would be the most boring place in the universe. You know, that's why we have so many things that entertain us. We get so many unique people to entertain us in your own unique way. You know, and um, that's why I'm here for, you know. And um, at the same time, at the same time, I just like, you know, just like watching other people on YouTube, you know, see how they go about their days like like um uh, jugger nuggets who uh you know has his father destroy his video games you know and he, my dad doesn't do that but you know he you know but you know it's you know because you know as i said mentioned you know you need a job you know sometimes you know there's different ways to go about it you know like destroying someone's video games is like it's like it's very expensive stuff you know outrage gamers outrage your father's got to be stopped, you know, and all that good stuff. But, you know, I love my family. I love my parents, and, you know, and they want to do what's best for, for the kids, you know. And um, they, they were trying, you know, they teach us the right way. Sometimes we uh, we end up doing things that we're not, that doesn't please our parents, you know, and that's, you know. But, you know, sometimes it's called growing up and learning a lot from music. Well, listen, I've learned a lot from my life over the years. I mean, it's 20 years since I lived up here. In, in the north end of New Bedford, Mass. And, uh, you know, I used to live in the west end, you know, near near uh, near our local park. Um, only seven blocks from our local park, and we just go there, you know, to uh, go, you know, sometimes we ride our bikes up there, you know, we go outside, you know. It's so many memories I had at, at my old neighborhood. You know, I'm not going to, you know, tell you the address or anything like that, just to let you know, like, like, you know, I like to, uh, you know, you know, I grew up in the 80s. I grew up, you know, like I said, I grew up in a unique situation. I used to collect garbage pail kids cards when I was little, you know. And, uh, you know, it's unbelievable that, you know, people, you know, when, when I find, you know, when people insult me or criticize me and all that, I realize it's like, like, I, like I care what they say because, one, they, they're not me. They don't know what's like. They don't what no. They don't know what it's like to be me. You know, I I want you know. It's like sit down. Some of these people and they would kids sit back, cross their arms, and go. What is it like to be you? You know. You know. What I would say to them. I just enjoy being me, and that's all there is to it. That's why you know being normal, being weird is. What do you most mean? I think the instead of being weird, would be you were, weirdness, morally unique, more than more like unique. I like being unique. I like being me. I like being who I am. If anybody's got a problem with it, well, I got two words for them. Suck it. You know? <clears throat> Excuse me. And the fact of the matter is, is that whether or not I want to be popular on YouTube, well, it just doesn't matter to me. If I want to be popular, it's fine. I mean, who knows? If I'm popular on YouTube, I'd be YouTube, I'd probably date a uh, hot starlet, you know? Who knows? Get my own show, sitcom, you know? Who do I get as my love interest? I don't care. All right, all about is I'm all about being me. All right, I like being me. It's who I am. End the story there. You know, just like jeez, you know, come on, people, <whistles> wake up. Hello, McFly. You know, like I said, <clears throat> I got I like watching Power Rangers. I got old school '80s cartoons. Heck, I just got completed the complete set of GoBots. Challenge of the GoBots, dude. I mean. Listen, I got the entire complete set of the monkeys. I like watching the monkeys. Hey, I could do my Beavis and Butthead impression. Watch this. Hello, Beavis. Like, what are we going to do today? Oh, we're on this show called The People's Lima. And he's, like, really cool and stuff. And he, like, he's got this Beezer haircut. And it's, like, really cool. Huh. Beezers are cool. <laughs> oh, Beavis. 
Don't be drinking no sodas. <laughs> and the great corn hordeo. I use that DB. I need TP. TP for the my bunk hole. My bunk hole goes. I have no nickelaka. Geek titty caca. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, it's just like, you know, you. I like doing zany impressions, you know. I'm not here to be the next Robin Williams, all right? You know, like, no, God rest his soul. <sighs> it's been, mm, I guess it's been a long, long ride. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to do this YouTube thing as long as I can until the day I die, you know. And if I end up not having a home and not having a computer and all that, and I pray that I still have a roof over, over my head, um, I'm going to keep doing this show. It's all about, you know, being me and being who I am. And, um, you know, I, I like I said, I'm thanking my family because if it had not been for them, especially my parents, I wouldn't be here today. And I'll be honest. And, you know, family is very important and it's a very good thing. You know, you know, sometimes we want to go off and do our own thing, you know, or, you know, be lone wolf. Sometimes you want to be anti. Sometimes we want to be anti-social. Me, you know, <clears throat> I'm not anti-social. I, I felt like I have been in my, in my church for for a few years now, but actually, you know, I chat with, you know, with these guys every day, you know, every Sunday and all that, and it's a good, <clears throat> like, you want to get home and just relax, I think you've been, like I said, I think it's what happens when you work six days in a row, and you want to go home and just relax, and that was a, you know, a main, main issue for me, so, other than that, you know, I appreciate um, everything that, everything has been, you know, everything that has been done, um, I appreciate my family, my friends, and my relatives, I love you guys, um, all my YouTube subscribers, thank you for tuning in and uh, watching my videos, putting up with the craziness that I am. And just, um, I like I like being me, and I, you know, like I said, just, you know, I like communicating with everybody out there. And I think I'm not antisocial, even though I felt like I have been, and I apologize. But I think it's my good way to communicate with you guys, you know, being on YouTube and telling the whole world, hey, I'm here. You know, if people out there have not seen me for quite a while, I, uh, you know... I'm doing well. I'm doing fine. I'm thankfully, have a roof over my head. I just, I'm just thankful for everything in life, and that's you know. And I thank the, I thank the Lord. It hadn't been for Him, I wouldn't be here today, you know. And uh, I'm not here to be gut religious or shove the Bible down your throats. That's not what I'm all about. I love people. I don't care if they're you know gay, straight. I don't care if they're if they're um you know, you know their colors, uh, skin color is different. I don't even really don't care. People are people, and that's what you know. I you know in the in the Bible's. They said, love your enemies, bless them because love one another. And we're, that's what we're supposed to do. You know, that's what the Bible says. It never says, oh, hate a certain group or hate, you know, this person because, you know, you can hate the sin, but you can love the sinner. God sees it now. God loves the sinner. He loves everybody. You know, that's how he is. But like, like I said, that's why I'm thankful that I'm here. And that's why I, I am the weird guy that I am because I'm cre created in a unique manner, in a unique way. And I'm very thankful for that. And um, I want to thank all of you YouTube viewers out there and that, that that have watched these videos. Even though you just and the haters and all that, it just motiv it just motivate me to keep going with this thing. Just to to say how can this guy stop? I'm not gonna stop making videos. No way. Not for you. Not for anyone. Not for all the haters in the world. No hater in the world is gonna stop me from being the people's Lima. That's who I am. Yeah, don't like it. Don't watch the videos. And to those of you who like watching my videos, keep on watching. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Call your mama. Call everyone and said, hey, this kid's funny, but this kid's real too. He's a real deal. He's a real guy. He's not a fake. Watch his videos. Tell me what's up. All right? Um, that's why I want to thank everyone out there, my viewers. show's going to keep on going because that's the end of this episode for today. Be cool. Stay solid. Remember, kids, be like Billy. Behave yourselves. Save the Texas Prairie Chicken. Have a nice day. Go shop at Kmart. Thanks for pressing your luck. Hope everything you're going for hits the bullseye and word to Big Bird. See ya. Peace out. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yes. 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 If you smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> Later, guys. God bless.